The Siberian Husky is a medium-sized working dog breed. The breed belongs to the Spitz genetic family. It is recognizable by its thickly furred double coat, rectangular ears, and distinctive markings, and is smaller than a very similar looking dog, the Alaskan Malamute. So let's talk about those Huskies. This is our Husky Dobro. He's mostly Husky, but has some Malamute in him too. Originated in Northeast Asia, where they are bred by the Chukchi people for sled pulling, guarding, and championship. It is an active, energetic, resilient breed whose ancestors lived in the extremely cold and harsh environment of the Siberian Arctic. William Gusick, a Russian fur trader, introduced them to Nome, Alaska during the Nome Gold Rush, initially as sled dogs. A Siberian Husky has a double coat that is thicker than that of most other dog breeds. It has two layers, a dense undercoat, a longer top coat of short, straight guard hairs. It protects the dog effectively against harsh Arctic winters and also reflects the heat in the summer. It is able to withstand temperatures as low as 50 to 60 degrees Celsius. That's minus 58 to negative 76 degrees Fahrenheit. The undercoat is often absent during shedding. Their thick coats require weekly grooming. Although Huskies are considered to be fine with children, they do have high prey drives, and most dog experts don't believe dogs should be left alone with small children. How do you care for them? Huskies require high quality dog food and lots of brushing. They also don't like hot weather, but don't shave your Husky. Their coats help them stay cool and keep them from getting sunburned. Keep in mind, they shed a lot and they need lots of brushing. I can't say that enough. Also, Huskies are considered to be very stubborn and hard to train. They are very, very smart and they are also escape artists and need lots of exercise to stay happy. They also like to wander if they escape. So they don't adapt well to apartments, I guess? That's correct, AI man. Huskies are great dogs, but just like any breed, you got to know what you're getting into and be prepared ahead of time. If you like this video and you want to learn more about wolves and wolf dogs, please hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks.